I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House. So a question was asked, and that is, is a standpipe really necessary? And I thought, huh, all the material I've ever read says yes. If it's beyond this distance of a drive pipe, then you've got to have a standpipe, or the pump will operate too slow. So my thoughts are, why don't we just test that out? So here's the setup I've got. I've got a half inch pump here with a hundred foot drive pipe and um, I thought what I would do is just crank this up and see the results we get up this hill then add a uh, hundred foot pipe um, drive pipe to make this 200 foot long then see how um, the results are then add the stand pipe and see if there's any change we want to see um, the output up top and the speed at which the pump operates. So let's try it out. Okay, I'm going to open up the drive pipe here. Okay, see if I can get the pump going. All right, go ahead and open up the delivery pipe. I have the pump primed and running with the delivery pipe all the way open. I had to move the delivery pipe up a little higher because there wasn't enough back pressure. So let's count the number of cycles in, let's say 20 seconds. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, looks like ten and twenty seconds. Okay, so we're here at the output. I'm going to start my stopwatch. Now, I've got this uh, container here, and it's got this tape. So we're going to time how long it takes uh, this setup with a hundred foot long drive pipe to uh, reach the bottom of the tape here. So on the next test, we will use um, the hundred foot addition to the hundred foot drive pipe to see if this is increased or decreased or remains the same. Forty seconds. It's actually pumping a lot of water from that tiny pump down there. All right, getting close. All right, it's so close to one minute. We're going to call it one minute. Okay, I'm here at the intake of the first 100 foot drive pipe and I've got this uh, uh, connector here so this will connect another 100 foot section of drive pipe uh, and I'll never get that out of there all right Let me go sink the other end in there, and we'll get this test on the way. Okay, I'm going to unhook this drive pipe and then open the valve to let the uh, siphon effect happen and start that upper section of drive pipe. Should see some pretty good air bubbles happen. There we go. Hitting the air pretty good. So that'll probably.
sputtered for a while. Looks like the air is out. We should be ready to go. I'm gonna stop this. Plug it back up here. We'll see what kind of results we get. We've got Wally helping today. He's always such a big help. Keeping me on my toes. All right, let's see what we get. Open this delivery valve. See if we can keep it going here. Well, I'm facing an interesting problem. That added feet of head has actually um, caused so much pressure in the tank that if I open this valve even the slightest, it stops the pump. So, I'm gonna get it going here with it closed and we'll still be able to time but uh, our test up above is just not going to work because of the, uh, the new pressure in here. Alright, so it's going now. Alright, 20 seconds. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Huh. It's actually just the same as before. I'm pretty satisfied with this test. I don't think we even need to put the standpipe in um, because if the cycles are going to be the same for a hundred foot drive pipe and a two hundred foot drive pipe and obviously the pressure is significantly increased because watch this it just shoots out the other end which you can't see and stops the pump so I'm gonna say that it is definitely possible to use more than a hundred feet of drive pipe because what I've understood is that as the pump gets smaller you should have a shorter drive pipe and with 200 feet on a half inch, I would imagine you can use much more than 200 feet with the one and a quarter size. So, thumbs up for testing that out. I'm not sure where those values come from um, that you read on those other pumps, but I'm pretty sure we can use a pretty long drive pipe. Thanks for watching. If you've got more tests that you would like me to run on the RAM pump, please let me know. Um, push the thumbs up button and subscribe and I will see you next time.